Now there's many things that Tommy Fleetwood can do that it will never be something that I will be able to achieve. I'll never hit driver like him. I'll never hit those towering irons like him. I'll never get a short game like him. And I'll certainly never be able to grow a head of hair like him. But there's one thing I might be able to do like him, and that's putt. As you know, Tommy Fleetwood has got a very uh, unique putting style. A few people use it. He's using it. I think Sergio I've seen use a similar. Is it the claw grip? I don't know what they reference it, but it's very different from what I'm used to. And I'm very much the traditional sort of uh, putting style, mallet style putter, and uh, straight through, straight back. But two holes ago, I tried something different. For the very first time, I tried to put like Tommy Fleetwood. And it was an eye opener. Now we didn't get off to quite the flying start, holding one of them would have been a real uh, start to the video, but there is something I've noticed that is very, very interesting, and no, I didn't hold one of them three putts, but they all went very close, and it's helping me do one thing, and it's a very positive thing. Right, before we go too far into this video, I want a quick question, comments down below. How many of you put in the sort of traditional style? The one that I would think 90% of golfers that we watch on TV put like? How many of you have tried a different sort of method, a different style, less conventional? What is that style? Has it helped your game? Has it helped your putting? Or have you gone back to a traditional style? So, feedback time. Is the whole one but it's still doing exactly the same thing and what is it and is it just because I'm concentrating a little bit more because I'm using a new technique is it because I'm getting this massive assistance from this new PXC putter with a thick bowl white line that I've been suggesting is helping me put better or is it something down to Tommy Fleetwood's technique technique that all of a sudden it's going to start making your whole putts but this is doing something that I find really interesting let me explain what it is it's probably worth me pointing out at this stage and you all know anyway I'm no putting expert I've no idea why this might be a good idea for you to try or not but if you're struggling with your putting and you fancy a bit of a change then I think this is worth giving a go now about an hour ago I had this very same putt and I decided to try the Tommy Fleetwood style of putting, the claw grip, whatever it is you want to call it. And it went quite well. So I tried another from the same distance and that went quite well. And then I spent 15 minutes around this green trying the Tommy Fleetwood grip as I'm going to call it. And it all went quite well so I thought right switch the camera and we'll do a video and I'm going to get back to this same position. No doubt this will all go completely wrong when I try it from here again. But I'm going to explain what it is that I found that it helped me do. And it might be quite obvious, I don't know. Would have been good if it went in but it was a similar result to the first time i tried it and we'll give it another go in a minute what i'm noticing is this and i'll get a bit of a close-up on my hands to perhaps explain what i am uh, recognizing so traditional grip is me swinging back and forth and what is difficult not to do as a uh, as an average golfer or at least what i find when it comes to putting is to get some um wrist hinge in there 
and get a little bit flicky with hands so it all becomes a little bit all about rather than keeping that stable and smooth swing it can get a little bit jerky and a lot of that comes from the movement in my wrists and in my hands go back to the Tommy Fleetwood style and what it seems to do and I don't know whether it's intended to do I don't know I don't know the science behind it and the way I'm holding the grip with the top hand might be incorrect as well and the bottom hand for that matter but in the style that I'm using on this video what it does it keeps the top hand sort of locked so the wrist facing target in a locked position and all I'm doing is the bottom hand acts as an assistance to a pendulum if you like and it's given me a great rhythm through the stroke and what I've noticed is in particular like I said I ain't gonna hold all put but it's allowed me to set the ball on the roll on the aim on the line that I'm at least trying to and I've got very good weight and distance control now I tried this an hour ago and clearly if it was something I was gonna put into my game full time then it's something I'd need to practice because believe me one thing you notice it's a different muscle because already my arm is recognizing that that's a completely different style that I'm used to and I'm noticing that in sort of my fingers my hands wherever it is there's a slightly different feel that I've got left in it but it's very very interesting and it's something that I particularly I want to carry on trying this and you might see in future videos that I become an adapter of the claw grip in terms of putting we'll have to wait and see but more importantly get out there try it yourself only a bit of fun because like I said I realize I'm in no position to instruct anybody on how to do anything in relation to golf least of all putting but I think this is worth a go hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you soon can I hold one to finish off No, but it's a decent two put from there and I take it every time. I might even think about getting a hair transplant.